Tarzan and the Diamond of Asher. While their companions are apparently asleep, Tom and Wolf leave the apartment into which they have been placed at the order of King Suten. Tarzan wakens Dano, and they follow. From behind a pillar in the vast council chamber, they watch, while Wolf pries Madden at the golden disc which contains the Father of Diamonds. As the disc flies open, the huge hall is flooded with a blinding white glare which holds the four men rooted helplessly to the floor. From the rim of the pit behind the German, a gigantic, hideous ape appears. From the monster's pendulous, slavering lips fall weird, guttural words. A hairy arm reaches out. Cruel fingers close about Wolf's neck. The huge prehistoric simian pulls the German to him. Great yellow fangs bury themselves deep in his throat. Muttering savagely, the brute tosses Wolf aside. The German's lifeless body drops upon the fabulous gem, shutting off the unholy brilliance of the diamond. What awful power was it that held us, Tarzan? The glare of that diamond. As soon as the wolf covered it with his body... Me? I could move then. Vinny, let us see if poor wolf... Oh, no, Dono. That ape is coming for you. Oh, le bon Dieu me protège. Bewildered and aghast, the Frenchman sees the horrible monster swaying toward him. Tarzan's challenging cry halts the advancing brute for only a second. It's enough for the man to get past Dano and place himself on the path of the hideous beast. The monster's gigantic arm darts out for the ape man's throat. Tarzan's left hand grasps the hairy wrist, pulls the great arm forward and down. He leaps close to the brute's side. The grotesque creature tries to turn with him. Quick as light, Tarzan's right hand flashes up to bury his glittering knife again and again deep in the monster's side. Bellowing with rage and pain, the ape's great hand drops to the wound. Swift as thought, Tarzan steps behind the brute, then leaps up. His left arm encircles the huge neck. Gleaming redly, the ape man's knife sinks to the hilt in the bull like throat. Tarzan, some monster. What an, an horrible brute. He's not pretty, is he? Me, me, Tarzan, what can I say? You can tell me what became of Tom, if you know. Mon Dieu, he has disappeared, eh? Yes, and what a chance we have of finding him. Vraiment, ça sera bien difficile. Very difficult in this, this forest of columns. And I can see at least 20 corridors leading out from this hall. Wait, Tarzan, not all of them are in semi-darkness. Alors, we can at least try, but... What about Wolf there? And the diamond. We'll have to leave him. And the diamond. Come on. Which one shall we choose? They all look exactly alike. This one just in front of us seems a little large, better lighted. Let's try it. Comme vous dites. Mais, have you noticed, Tarzan, the strange blue light these little lamps give off? Not particularly, but I wish there were more of them. Écoutez. Good day. Someone is coming. Yes. And they're coming down this corridor. There must be a sharp turn ahead there. See the reflection of the wall against the wall? And there is not a single place to hide so much, so much as one's hand. We must go back. No good retreat now. They'll get to that den before we can reach the council chamber. They probably heard the noise we made and are coming to investigate.
meanwhile, Tome, released from the unholy spell of the diamond, has gained the weird half-light of a cross corridor. With the sense being pursued by the great slavery-lipped brute, which in one frightful instant had torn the life from Wolf, he hurries deeper and deeper into the fantastic showland. Presently, he rounds a bend in the corridor to come abruptly upon a pair of bronze doors. With a breath of relief, his quick searching gaze locates the discolored stone in the wall, and believing he is about to re-enter the quarters into which the party had been placed by Hakeru, he quickly presses the stone. As the portals swing open, Tome's astonished eyes behold a brilliantly lighted chamber furnished in barbaric magnificence. He pauses uncertainly. Oh, thou oh, man of the outer world? I beg your pardon? How comest thou here to the chambers of Tira, queen of the Hesse hair and daughter of the sun? Oh, daughter of the sun, I believe that was... Enter then, and speak truth. How comest thou here? I come from the chamber of the great diamond where I witnessed an attempted theft and uh, its immediate punishment. What sayest thou? A theft? Tarzan of the apes, the French Madano, and Wolf the German attempted to steal the father of diamonds. They compelled me to accompany them against my will. <laughs> and of the three, how many remain alive? Wolf is dead killed by a horrible monster which climbed out of the pit. And the others? Are alive. Alive? Tarzan killed the guardian of the diamond. Oh, sayest thou? Killed one of the talking apes? Hmm, verily. This Tarzan must be a tower of strength. So, thou art after all in a share to steal the father nay, of diamonds. Nay, nay, O Queen, not I. Ellen Gregory, whom we believe to be in our share, Magre and I came here hoping to find Brian Gregory. And uh, this Tarzan? He, Dono, Wolf, and Larson lied back there in the council chamber. They are here after the diamond. And he must be powerful to vanquish a guardian ape. But tell me, stranger, this Helen Gregory, is she beautiful? Mm, she is. Thou art in love with her? Helen Gregory? <laughs> she merely pays me well to aid her in her search. And the other woman? She is indeed exceedingly beautiful. Mm, Magda is like a daughter to me. Didst thou not see the eye of Sutan appraising this Magra when thou wert in the great hall? What is thy name, stranger? I am Atantom. Thou art a chief of warriors in thy land. I have the name from my ancestors. Hearken then, Atantom. Whoever entereth the chamber of the daughter of the sun, other than the king, his life is forfeit to her wish and will. I could have thee thrown to the guardian ape. Yes, O oh daughter of the sun, you could do that. And I shall. Unless... I am at thy service, O Tira. Listen, then. Thou shalt act as I dear for me and all that transpires between thy companions and perchance the Atif. It shall be an honor to serve thee, my queen. And if thou servest me falsely, thou shalt pay with thy very life. <laughs> Back in the dim corridor, Tarzan and Darno cast about for some sort of hiding place. The sound of the approaching Hesse Harians is now distinct. Their flashing lights near the bend of the corridor. Suddenly, Tarzan grips Darno's arm. Look, Darno. Set in the wall there. A shrine. Oui. Je le vois. See, but... The roof above the shrine. It's as black as night up there. But there is no way to climb. Nothing to offer a foothold. Wait. One mighty leap and Tarzan's fingers grasp the projecting shrine roof. A rhythmic swing and pull, and the ape man disappears. A moment, and his muscular arms reach down out of the shadows. Jump, I'll catch you. Oui! Just in time, mon vieux, here they call it down. Flat, near the edge here. No, Dan, no, Tarzan. There must be half a hundred of them, and they are angry. 
away from the sound of their voices. Oh, if only I could understand their speech. Well, they're gone. Be on our way now. Here, I'll let you down. Quick. Right. Stand back against the wall so I won't drop on you. Now, let's hurry back to Margaret and Larson. Are you sure this is the route we took when we followed Tome and Wolf? It must be. That bend in the corridor we just made. I'm sure our quarters are on this hallway and not far. Oh, that poor Wolf. What an odd character, Tarzan. Yes, a mixture of bad and good. Too bad he had to go out that way. Oui, it was terrible. Mais, mais c'est la vie, it is life. And now we must think of ourselves. Yes, of course. I'd like to know just what their attempt at stealing the diamond will mean to us. Tarzan, we can wait and watch patiently. And I don't nothing. like that. I don't like it, I tell you. If I've got something to do, I want to do it and get it over with. But you're right. We'll have to wait for them to act now. And this Monsieur Tom, the Atan, where did he go and where is he now? Busab Tarzan... I simply cannot trust that man. I can't say that I do. I can't see how it will do him any good to try to harm us. We don't want the diamonds. Mr. Sabre, sir. True enough. But he will not try to get the gem by any such crude methods as did Wolf. Nevertheless, he is the type who will stop at nothing. There, Darno. That's our chamber. I'm sure. Can you locate the stone which opens them? I think so. It's lighter in color. Yes. Here it is. Parson's awake. Press on that stone, Darno. It closes. Thank you, Lord. You are back, Tarzan. But, but what is it, Larson? You are... They've been half crazy waiting for you and wondering what happened to you fellas. Now it's been Margaret. Margaret? What about her? They took her away. She... She been gone.